didn't see you there. You must have just come from the first episode where they talked about absence of trust. Today we'll be talking about conflict in groups and how to resolve it. Well, this is I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. Yikes. How did things get so bad? See, what we just witnessed was a bad example of conflict. So, come on, let's go take a look and see what led up to this whole conflict when the group had a fear of conflict. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This will be exciting. Ready for this meeting. Alright guys, how's everyone doing today? Good. Good. Right. So, our agenda for today. There is a big wedding coming up for a client. So, we are going to have to make sure that runs smoothly, but the only thing is, the bride's cousins are going to be there and they do not get along with each other. So we're going to have to figure out how we can have both of them attend the wedding in a civil manner. So, any suggestions? Okay, so what if we just take one of them off the guest list so both of them don't come? We don't want any problems. Yeah, that could work. Okay. Yeah, totally. Well, guys, I think that maybe we should just, we should still invite both of them, but since they don't like each other, they probably won't sit by each other anyway, so we can just let them choose their own seats. Yeah, totally. Do you see what Carly's doing? She's agreeing with everyone because she doesn't want any conflict to arise. If everyone in the group keeps agreeing with each other, nothing will ever get done. Let's just not invite either of them at all. I don't really know about that. Maybe that's not the best idea. Why is that? Well, I don't know. I just think because it's not really fair. Whoa, 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 guys. Let's not argue about this. We'll just all pick an idea that we agree with and go from there. Brandon sought the conflict before any ideas could be exchanged. A good leader knows the difference between productive conflict and destructive fighting. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, totally. The lack of conflict can sometimes lead to negative discussions outside of the group. Take a look. Can you believe the way she was talking to you in the conference room? Like, obviously your idea was so much better. My idea was the best. I can't believe her. I hate this job. That was pretty rough. Now let's look at a way that the group can engage in healthy conflict. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Alright guys, how's everyone doing today? Good. 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 Right. So, our agenda for today. There is a big wedding coming up for a client. So we are going to have to make sure that runs smoothly, but the only thing is the bride's cousins are going to be there and they do not get along with each other. So we're going to have to figure out how we can have both of them attend the wedding in a civil manner. All right, so do you guys have any ideas for the Joneses wedding? Oh my gosh, I love the Joneses. Do you remember that Christmas best. party we went through for them last fun. year? I All love right, them. Oh, so we have <laughs> ideas. It's not enough to ask. Okay. Well, Maybe we could move one of the cousins to, have to be seated in the back of the room or just seat them on opposite sides of the room so they're not close to each other. I think it would be tough to seat them on opposite sides of the room since they're in the same family. You can't really have close family members sitting on opposite sides of the room. Okay, well then, what do you expect us to do? Well, okay, so the problem with you, with what you said is that you don't want them sitting on the opposite sides of the room. So 
and your problem is that they can't be sitting next to each other, so we need to find a way to have both of them be happy but not together. Okay. So maybe move one of the parties to the back of the room, the whole party, so that they're still with their family but not next to each other? What we just witnessed was Tiffany executing real-time permission. She realized that there may have been an issue or conflict between Molly and Carly, so Tiffany stepped in and stated what each person wanted. Yeah, I think that's a good idea because as long as we keep how them separate, how are they going to fight? The you know, it's like they be. they're not going to be wait, wait, next Carly. to each other. Carly had a good idea. Nobody was listening. What did you have to say, Carly? Um, I was just saying that maybe we should meet with the cousins to see what they would be comfortable with. Hmm. Yeah, that would that's be a good idea. idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Brandon just performed the art of mining. Mining is when someone or the leader of the group sees a problem that no one is talking about and extracts it and then sheds light on it in front of the whole group. When Brandon stopped the conversation between Tiffany and Molly, Carly was able to share her idea with the rest of the group. Well, that's a really good idea, so let's regroup next week and contact the cousins about this. Yeah, I can do that right now. The leader is pivotal for a group as they can model what a leader should look like and they can also model how members of a group can interact between each other and what healthy interaction looks like. The leader usually wants to protect every single member of the group from harm. By Brandon and other leaders executing how to deal with healthy conflicts and modeling how to deal with healthy conflicts, the group is most likely to pick up on that and model the same behavior. Well, that's it. The next episode will talk about the lack of commitment in groups. As I mentioned before, if the group does not overcome their fear of conflict, nothing will ever get done. In addition, they'll probably never commit to anything either. This includes commitment to the group that they are a part of and commitment to the decisions that they make. Now, if you excuse me, I got some reading to catch up on. That was pretty rough. That was an <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong there. Wait, so what did I say in the clip before? Well, it's just, it wouldn't be fair to the bride because she wants both of her cousins there, and I, I think we could come up with something better. Well, aren't they the I main think... root of the bride? <laughs> you have your specific <laughs> something. Let's just not invite either of them at all. I don't know. I don't think that's the best idea. Okay, so let's stop arguing and all come up. <laughs> we not <don't> argue yet. <laughs> Let's just not invite either of them at all. I don't really know if that's the best idea. Well, why is that? I don't know. I just think it's not really fair to the bride to not let her both of her family members come. Okay. And <laughs> Maybe you need to give him like a signal. <laughs> I don't know. All right, go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Have you been deleting these? Because you're really not going to go through all that. What you just saw was... <laughs> <laughs>
for so much better than I mean, should get paid more. <laughs> Alrighty, so fabulous. So, come on, let's come out. <laughs> <laughs> it's good.